Hello everybody, a warm welcome to Wisdom from North. My name is Janneke and today I have an incredibly inspiring and knowledgeable and wise guest on the show, Julia Cannon. Julia is the Managing Director of Ozark Mountain Publishing and Quantum Healing Hypnosis Academy. And she's the daughter of the wonderful Dolores Cannon, who has brought so much wisdom and knowledge to the world and recently passed away. Now, Julia has written a book called Soul Speak, The Language of Your Soul. And this book can be bought on my site. And it's about how we can heal our bodies with our minds. And today we're going to focus on the big questions of life, like why we're here and what life is really about and how we got the golden ticket. So Julia, much, much welcome to Wisdom from North. How are you doing? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Janneke, for having me. It's an honor, truly. Oh, it's an honor for me because I've been following your mother's work for years and I discovered you, uh, I think, half a year ago. And I was so excited that to see that you were working so closely together and that you're now continuing this work. And I know that, I mean, you were a nurse for over 20 years and this was your big dream. And all of a sudden you shifted into doing full-time metaphysical things, stuff. Yeah. Like, why, why did you do this shift? What happened? <laughs> um, well, the universe made me, made me do it. <laughs> it was, uh, it's funny. Um, it was first gradual, but then at a point, there's like a point of no return. The universe just said, look, you have to do this. There's a... You, you can't play over here anymore. You have to get on this road, on this track. And you, you, there's things over here that you have to be doing. And I think when we set out and set a plan for ourselves, we have a point that we have to get doing things. And, and that's when we set a course and we say, you, you have to get, boy, I know, I'm sorry, so much information is coming in and, and, if I, I'm sure oh. <laughs> downloads are happening <laughs> and whenever you find yourself stumbling on words that's what's happening it's so much information is coming in very very quickly I believe that we set a course of actions for ourselves you know and we we have a blueprint of sorts and we say okay I, I want to come in and experience X Y and Z and have a course and then at certain points I want to get to this, you know, and then I have a point that I want to accomplish something. But then there's a, a point that I have to get this done. And it's like if I'm not in it, you know, then I can't get this other thing done. So it's almost like a point of no return. And so then I have to really give myself a strong message if I don't get to this point by this time. And that's kind of where I was at this point in time. Um, and I had to hit myself over the head with a two by four. And that was, I say it was the universe, but it was actually me. You know, um, when, when in my book I discuss that more, you know, where we're saying the universe is hitting us over the head with a two by four or directing us, you know, I really want people to realize it's not a God or this big being, you know, victimizing us, you know, or something, you know, making us do things that we don't want to do because it's us you know we we set a course for ourselves and we are the ones keeping ourselves on course we are the ones saying hey this is what we are doing does that make sense I, I hope yes, I didn't but yeah, I'm okay. so curious about this because who are we because we right. have this inner knowledge and you're also talking about the higher self, the over soul. Yes. I mean, what is that then? Great. And thank you for backing me up there. I know I went off on a... <laughs> <laughs> that was because of that download. <laughs> it was just... Um, you just got that download now? Yeah, this that happens. And, and when it does, it kind of scrambles things for a minute and I have to sort things through. So now it's sorted, I hope, and now I can make things rational. Okay. When we come in... Uh, or let's just back it up. We are great and powerful beings. We are these huge beings. Okay? And we choose to have experiences. And some of them, earth experiences. 
we uh, we take a piece of ourselves and we drop them into flesh bodies. Just a piece of uh, a, our being. Just a, piece, a small piece of ourselves into human bodies to have an experience on this 3D plane to have to learn things to have experiences okay and we can have all kinds of experiences we can have them in human bodies we can have them in animal bodies we can have them in rocks we can have them in plants we can have them in all kinds of things that's just to have experiences okay but you can contact this higher soul or this bigger part of you to get right. information is that where you are downloading information from now for instance or is it other beings Oh, no, it's just from yourself. It's just that's from that higher that other the higher self, that bigger part of you. And that's just going, whoop, you know, sometimes it comes in a great big download like that and yeah, it's just it could be other beings, but you know what's to say and I'm sorry. I I, I apologize if this is you must have a really advanced listening audience. Well, I do. Thank you, because I wanted to back it up and make it really simple, and they're like, nope, <laughs> your audience doesn't need that. <laughs> well, you're getting that information now? That's yes, incredible. that's why That's why they're giving it to me like that, because they're like, nope, they keep wanting to give it in this, in, in this big, they don't need bite-sized pieces, they need it in mouthfuls. That's why they're doing it that way, because that's what, they're, they're okay with that. Oh, so. Cool. <laughs> they apparently they can understand what I'm saying, so I hope that's okay. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm going. <laughs> so okay. Let's mm -hmm. sp speak more about this. Uh, how powerful we are, because I saw you uh, doing a talk uh, online on YouTube, and you were drawing uh, that we thought we were like small dots, and we were like huge. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, like, how can we have that feeling? Because I don't have that huge feeling. Right, and that's because on this plane, and that, that's what's so wonderful is at that dot, that's the only place of supposed, supposed separation. Once you get on the other side of the veil, you know, because the veil is the only thing that makes us feel separate. Once you get on the other side of that veil, then you realize the, the connectedness and how big we are, how huge we are you realize the expanse of you and you know that and that's it and that's it's just that little bit and then you it, it is it's it's right there and that veil is thinning constantly it's every day it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner and the experiences the abilities that people have coming in you know the where they're seeing they're having more and more visions. They're seeing things. They're hearing things. They're they're feeling. They're, they're the abilities that are coming in. That's where they're sensing into the other dimensions. The other dimensions is that is where they're sensing through that veil. Mm. Okay, that's that veil coming through because that's that's all that veil is. That's another dimension. Mm. So, um, so, so I mean, uh, I've been curious because your your mother, she, uh, for those who don't know Dolores, I, I bet everybody who's watching this, uh, or at least my audience, know Dolores Cannon. She's so famous and she's done so much work and been doing this for such a long time. But she was regressing people. She was a hypnotherapist and she based her work on you know what she observed and everything. But you seems to mm -hmm. have abilities. Now, did Dolores have these same abilities? It's interesting. Um, Dolores claimed, yeah, she did not have abilities, or she said she didn't. Right. She wanted to stay, she wanted to stay the objective observer. She, because they told her in the beginning when she started doing the regressive hypnosis, they said, you know, we can come through you. And she was like, no, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> you can come through the client, and I'll be. I'll stay the objective reporter, and that way I can just ask questions, and I prefer that. And they're like, okay, that's fine. So that way she could keep her objectivity. But right here in the last, I'd say five, at least five years, maybe a little bit more than that, she was starting to hear. She was starting to 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 hear them get the messages and she would ask me is that 
what it sounds like? Is that what it is? And I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> you know, so she was allowing it to happen. So it was happening. Yeah. And she, and she had the gut feelings. She'd had that for quite a while. So it was happening for her. <laughs> yeah, because I've been observing that it kind of runs in the family. Like if I speak to someone who was clairvoyant, I mean, her grandmother would be clairvoyant. It seems like uh -huh. it's, you know, in the same family. But so let's yeah. talk about how uh, we have this... Um, have been very lucky to come to this earth that we got this golden ticket like many wouldn't perceive it in that way you know correct C correct um i know and that was one of the things and you know to tell you how it first came i'm still trying to remember exactly now where i first heard it um but when mom was talking about the you know how the she would talk about earth being the drudge of society and it was the or the drudge of the universe and all this and they put earth way out here on the edge of the universe because it was so um uh volatile and things like that and I, and I just it was like that just never I just didn't like that you know it just felt so yuck and um um the messages that I was getting and it and then what ended up coming through was that I mean it is it is volatile here I mean that's true and it's a very dense planet but what came through was that was by design it's all by design and then as it more and more came through was that it's you know we are not here by chance you know it's a very clever design you know granted there's there's um, extreme conditions here um, and there is um, like I said the volatility here and everything but that's that's this other thing that has to be worked out but the uh, the design um, is what's so creative you know and and that's what takes masters to do um, and that's what we've talked about the golden ticket uh, not just anybody can come here like well, like we said, you why? know, why because it, they're not evolved enough or something like that. Exactly, it's it's too extreme of a of conditions here that that's so because it's so dense because it's so you know it's it's just it's too um, it, it's a very hard play harsh it's a very hard place to live the the emotions and all the the extreme conditions and everything it's a very hard place to be. All of these new souls that are coming here, it's hard on them. And they're they're warned, please don't go there. It's really hard. You're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> it's really hard. And it's like it's it's not for the willy nilly. <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. You know? so, right. Um yeah, so, you know, so let's go more into these uh this work that Dolores have done in regressions because there were all kinds of things coming up uh, in these stories, like uh you know, in between lives and mm -hmm. uh, contact with Nostradamus, and huh? um, can we speak about time? Like, how is this possible that this right. is happening at the same time? <laughs> right, and that's probably the one of the because there again, time is an illusion. So that's one of the biggest complexes. Um, is you know reality's an illusion, time's an illusion. <laughs> so, um, we, it, what she was told is why she was able to do this and why things look the way they look is because we put everything in a linear fashion. Is we think things are moving day by day by day by day by day, and it's not actually the way it is. Um, when you look at things as they are all happening. Um, so don't look at it as if they're happening at the same time, they're all existing at the same time. Or existing. And it's like until we come up with a better word than time. Hmm. And see, and that's that's why I think it's gonna be our stumbling block. We need to come up with a better another word. Because as long as we keep using time, that's gonna keep messing with us. Because what I'm saying it's everything's existing at the same time something hmm okay because if I keep saying time then our minds gonna keep going to time True. but everything's existing at the same because like okay 
I'm going to take you to a moment in your childhood and you can relive that moment as if it's happening right now, as if it's existing right now. And it is existing right now and you're back in your childhood and it is existing at this moment. And yet you are right here at this moment also. See what I'm saying? So here, you are here and you are there at the same moment. So that person is alive at this moment and this person is alive at this moment. All right? <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's what's happening in regressive hypnosis. You are communicating with two different life uh, time periods. And then now you can go back to another lifetime entirely and you're communicating with someone else. I mean, but it's still it's still this person, but now you're, you know, it's the same soul, but now you're in another lifetime. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's just get I, I get so many questions in my mind because I'm like, well, but then I'm living everything at the same time, and then yeah. everything is just everything, and how can something that that it seems like there's so many things at the same time? How is that possible? It, it's just my mind stops. Right. Well, exactly. And that's where they said it's not, um, it, it's our it's our minds. They said the brain, it's not the brain, it's our mind doesn't have the concepts. And But it's getting better. Our mind has the ability, I mean, 10 years ago, I'm trying to think when I was able to start even formulating some of these concepts. 10 years ago, it couldn't. But now I'm getting to where I can grasp some of it. So it's like we are getting to where we can, yeah. where 10 years ago we couldn't. And so we're, we're getting there. Our minds are getting there. Yeah, I know what you mean because I can notice myself that um, five years ago I couldn't uh, understand at all these concepts. And now I'm yes. like I've, I've come a step further and I'm opening up more and more. Exactly. It's interesting. Yeah. Because yeah. your mother was also talking about um, future lives and parallel lives. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. So that's on that time thing. <laughs> so it's, all, it's all a matter of that time element. So once you kick out the, the time, once you kick out that thing of time, once you know that time is an illusion and you get rid of that, then you can you can put that whole you can accept parallel lives you can accept future lives it's, yeah you don't have to look at, they're not linear at all it's more of a cylindrical thing so it's you know and I'm not it's a it's a matter of physics mm -hmm. someone in physics could explain it much better than me um, but it's has to do with um, but it, it and uh, someone that says space time events someone mentioned it that way space time events and it's almost like you're you're dropping down into these different things from a central point you know it's just it just drops down into things and it's just it doesn't matter when and where they are you're just dropping down into them from a central place mm. but still it's important uh, to be here and now right I mean to be in this experience absolutely, absolutely. the one that you're focused on is the one that is important to you right now. That's the one that has the the lessons or the experience that you need to know right now. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm just like picturing myself being in all these different parallel lives and these other experiences, <laughs> and I'm like, is this going on? I'm just feeling this right now. But and they're all wondering about you. Ah, oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> So, but still, we are split into different beings, right? You know, I have a very left brain sometimes. So <laughs> I'm trying to understand. I just need some, I need to see it, you know? Because, I mean, you are your being and I'm my being, but still we're one. How is that? How can that be? <laughs> um, like you said, it, it splits off. Well, let's go back to the big me, okay? Big me, if you saw, you remember my picture, and I'm... And I, I, for those of, that don't have access to that picture, <laughs> but, but let's just say you have big me up here and then it has an experience. So it drops down, has a bit of it comes down to an experience. But let's say that experience can be in 2015, 
but then it also drops down in her experience in uh, 1854, also drops down into an experience in whatever, um, 1522, also drops down into an experience in 2233, also drops down experience in uh, the fifth dimension, also drops down into an experience in a craft on the planet, whatever, you know, something. Okay, see where I'm going with this? Yes. It's just dropping down space, time, events all over the place to have experiences. Right. Okay? It's just it's just dropping down. Boom, 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 boom. All over the place, all at the same time, for lack of a better word. Yeah, okay. Having experiences. And they're all shooting back this information to Big Me to compile it. Okay. And make da 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 out of it. <laughs> and then, but do you believe that there's a source, you know, that there's a, yeah? Yeah, yeah because this all feeds us back up to source. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah. it's a mystery. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the universe <laughs> is so mysterious. <laughs> So let's go into mm -hmm. uh, your book. I haven't read it, but I've uh, heard uh, about it and read about it. And there you say that our bodies are designed to be, you know, <laughs> centuries mm -hmm. old, like so much older than, you know, it is now. And because it dies around, I would say, 120 or 30, it dies, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and even before that, <laughs> earlier than that, yeah, <laughs> most of the time. But I don't know if anybody has become right. older than that. So, uh, yeah, why do we get ill? Well, exactly, and that's what I—that's why I like to say—is here we have, you know, our bodies are designed to live hundreds and hundreds of years and never be, never have aches, pains, or illnesses. So why do we have all these aches, pains, and illnesses? Why do we have all these commercials on our TVs for all these aches, pains, and illness relievers? And why do we have all these people suffering all over the world? Why? Good question. And that's uh, my belief is our bodies are terrific messengers. This is one way of delivering messages. We have a lot of ways to deliver messages to our bodies um, through, like I said, I got a big download a while ago. We are constantly getting messages, but a lot of times we will not listen. We don't hear them. And so our guidance system up here has to resort to other measures to get messages to us. And so through the body is, to me, one of the last resort measures. What about this blueprint then that you were talking about in, in the beginning that we actually have a plan and a blueprint? I mean, how solid is that plan? That plan is a basic plan. That's probably more, um, it doesn't involve things like cancer. It doesn't have things like that in it. It's more of a um, basic life experience thing. You know, like I want to, you know, like meet certain people and, and have certain um, accomplishments, things like that, you know, and I'm going to do this by this point and, and like get to this um, stage, you know, these different points. Uh, the cancer comes in because you didn't get something done at a certain point and you're very angry about it or whatever and, and see, and you didn't, you, you just got upset and you, didn't, you just didn't accomplish anything, so. <laughs> but does that mean that we can actually fail? Well, yeah, you can fail, and you can, sure, but the thing is, is it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, you know, we come in with a blueprint, and that's why I, I like to um, say, you know, we, we have our maze. It's a, life is a maze that we go through. That's the blueprint that we set up for ourselves, and we have our objective. We're trying to get through the blueprint. We're trying to get through the life that we set up for ourselves, and we have our guidance system, and that's where our our guides are working there trying to help us and they're directing us okay go here go here go here sending us messages however we and they can talk to us they can send us signs they can talk to our bodies however they can do it whatever ways they can do whatever we want them to and 
and there's all these different ways of doing it. And then, but some, and sometimes what we do, if we don't listen to them, and sometimes we just get stuck, and that's many of the times, that's why they'll use the bodies, is because we just get stuck because we're not listening. We just sit down, and we just won't move, and we get upset and angry, and we just kick our feet and, and just scream and cry and won't do anything, and we just get angry. So we just have to look at ourselves. That's what, and we think we're yeah. We th we just say I just failed and I didn't do anything. And all they our guidance system wants us to do is just do something. If we'll just start moving, because like I like to say is a system in motion is easier to move than a system not in motion. You know, when you're sitting, that's hard to get moving. You know, but if you're moving, it's easier to guide you. So if you'll just do something, even if it's not the right thing, that's easier to move. So it's like, just do something, anything. Okay. Then they can start steering you again. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, because I've heard that before and I've been thinking about that. Uh, because I think it has to do with changing perspective and get right. out of your mind. Because you're like yeah. sitting there giving up or, or just... Uh, going on the same thoughts and you just need to shift to see something new and that absolutely. can lead you yeah absolutely and on that when you did your neck like that <laughs> and that, that's a very good thing so that's what that's what the neck means oh okay because that's what the neck does it changes your perspective right. so anything with the neck because it's moving the head which moves the eyes which is the perspective Right. It's where the eyes are looking. So have okay. you experienced anything of this yourself? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. And, and it always works better. Like I said, the process is, you know, it works better when you can talk to your body um, as soon as you know something's going on. And, and it's, this is not easy. None of it is. You know, this is all learning. This is all part of the human growth process um, but it's it's just how it works it's all you know it's part of the connection it's part of what we do and how we're working with ourselves but it's just talking to ourselves is talking to your body like the part that's it that is hurting that is trying to communicate you're just speaking to direction it? like with me. You talk to it, you talk to the part of the body, which is also, or you talk directly to the big you. But by talking to your body, you are talking to the big you because that part is connected to the big you, right? Because that's how it's communicating. So by doing that, it is connecting right to the big you. So you can do either one. And what you say is, what are you trying to tell me? What do you want me to know? And you just get quiet and you keep asking that. And the first thing you hear you just listen, get quiet. It will tell you. The first thing you hear, that's it. The first thing and you trust hear. Trust it. Trust it. Hmm. For, you may not want to believe it. No, 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 no. But remember, accept, allow. Because we always, ah, that wasn't it. And, and if you didn't hear anything, then trust if somebody else may come up to you and say something. And you want to trust that too. There's different ways of getting of receiving information, just like there's different ways of receiving information. Other way, otherwise, you know, other people may come up and give you the information that you need. You know, um, in general, you know, like you may get information through dreams. You may get information with people coming up to you off the street. You know, I mean, off the TV, off the radio. You somehow you'll get the information you need. Um, but then it'll be verified. It'll be confirmed for you. Yeah. And then you act on that. Um, and then you start moving. Like I say, it is a movement in, in direction. Well, then start changing your direction. Mm -hmm. Start acting on what you hear. Mm -hmm. And as you shift, you will see your body change. You will see the pain shifting. And as it, it, it'll change completely. All the pain or whatever, the, the illness, the, whatever's going on, it will stop. Yeah, as soon as you get the message, as soon as the message has been received, delivered, and acted upon, the message 
has to go, it, it will go away. The the everything stopped because there's no more need for the message. It has to stop. So the so you're healed. See, you're healed. Hallelujah. I mean that's yeah. <laughs> I don't mean it to sound trite, but that's that's why you get instantaneous healing. It's because it was only a messaging system in the first place. Yeah. So now there's no more need for the message. See? It does make sense, and I, I really want it to be true. My left brain is, you know, still like mm -hmm. a little bit skeptical, sure. but uh, a part of me is believing it. But what about uh, when people are saying it's the flu season? We all get the flu, you know. What about that? Or uh, you know, um, what is it called uh, when we get um, uh, contagious um, diseases? Uh, yeah, in lack of better words. Uh, what is that about? That's called we are powerful co-creators. Okay. And did you hear what you just said? <laughs> no, what? These, yeah, it's this flu season and we all get the flu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. And these are contagious diseases and we all get yeah, them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So and another thing is if you feel like you need a rest and you want a rest, then you're going to grab the next thing that comes by. Right. You'll do it because you want it. If you want to rest, you're going to grab it. Okay. And if you want to prove, prove that that's, how, how can I word this where it's not? You know everybody else is getting it. Then you say to yourself, I don't have time to be sick. I don't have time for that. You won't get it. Okay. So you can say it consciously and just mm -hmm. demanding, you know, that to be true. You say, I don't have time for it. I'm too, uh -uh, I got other things. I don't have time for it. That's not in my world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not spend energy on it, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not in my belief system that I will get that. I'm, I'm, I, have, I do not have time for it. <laughs> I'm too busy. I, it's not my belief. And, and I love these perspectives because it just shows how powerful our minds are. You know? Absolutely. And that it should really uh, be tried out in a way before we uh, say, no, I don't believe in that. Because what if it's really like that? That's what I am doing with the series. What if it is like that, that we are attracting what we are thinking about the focusing on? Why don't try it out and see, you know, if your life will change? Absolutely. Absolutely. What if you got to hurt? Yeah. If you got to hurt. I mean, it's yeah. just a matter of, of trying. You can't. You can't hurt yourself, and that's what I like to do with all this: is try it, play with it. Yeah. You're, it's it's not going to hurt anything. You can't. Don't be afraid of it. Yeah. You're not going to hurt anything. So, where so. do you think we're headed now? Are we headed into a time where this will be natural to speak about, you know, metaphysics, and will we all get these abilities so we can actually just, oh, I got the message, <laughs> got the download. <laughs> yes. Uh, Absolutely, goodness. yes, and that's how we get there is by not being afraid to try. Okay. Go ahead and accept this as normal and know that we can do anything and it's okay to just, you know, yes, we're creators. So play with it. So well, if I can do that, then maybe I can do that. Well, okay, well, let's try it. Hmm. So Why we're not? becoming more spiritual beings in a way? Mm-hmm. Yeah. More light yeah. beings, like less light dense. Beings, yes. mm -hmm. huh. And just knowing more of what we are. Mm. Yes, we're flesh and blood, and yes, we're here 3D, but we're also, we're, we're this and we're this. Mm. We're aware of both parts. And we're spiritual beings that, hap that happen to live in a 3D body. Mm. And we're learning how to make the two work together. And this 3D body can do great things when it accepts the 5D part of it. Right. Mm -hmm. So are we moving into another world that your mother were talking about? She had these two mm -hmm. right. worlds. Actually, we're already there. Really? But what does it mean? Am I there now? Like, <laughs> Yeah, you're there now. They, what they told me in 2011, 11, You'll see it when you believe it. 
And do you see it? Yeah, it's just a matter of, <coughs> excuse me, just being aware. Because, and it's one of those things, like you were saying a while ago, you have to, like when you look back, like five years ago, you can see how you have different concepts now than you had different then. And that's kind of how you have to do this. When you look back, you have to go backwards and then come back forward, and you'll realize that you're in a different world than you used to be. Okay, it's kind of the same thing. You'll realize that things have been shifting, and they keep shifting, and they keep shifting. And then that's when you realize that we're in a different world. So it's not a, 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 another physical uh, globe. It's just uh, we're in a I, different... I think eventually it will be. I, I really do think eventually it will be, but right now it's just, it's so subtle, and it's, the two are superimposed, and I think gradually, I think they're probably just little by little, I have the other hand here, I think little by little they just keep moving a little further apart, a little further apart, but it's so gradual and so subtle that we don't realize it really, it just, it's just happening, but if you go back 10 years and then zoom yourself forward fast forward then you realize oh yeah things are very different but when you do it day by day you don't see it but if you, you do that business you're like oh yeah we're different we're very different mm -hmm. see but you have to do that do you think then the goal, if we are, uh, you know, moving into this new world now, do you think it will be an end of incarnating, uh, or what is my question here? I, I'm wondering if, you know, in a way this will be my last incarnation on planet Earth, uh, or, and if I will move on to different planets, because I'm kind of done with this, because I've heard that some are just repeating the cycle over and over again, because... They haven't, you know, learned their lessons or uh, they're very dense in their energy. And right. I kind of feel like I want to move on, you know, to different yeah. stages. Yeah. yeah. So is that a goal to kind of uh, get out of the earth reincarnation cycle? I know there are a lot of different um, answers to that, that that mom got in her different sessions. And I don't know if I have a good answer for that, but I'll, I'll do the best I can here. Um, my understanding is when this is all complete, one, yes, we'll have a 5D version of this, which is where we, we're pretty much, we're in there now, or we're going there. The, the ones that, the 3D low density version it's like that won't be here anymore and those that want to stay in that low vibration karmic they'll go someplace else so that version won't even be here anymore so yeah if you're wanting to do that game that game won't exist here anymore so you're right you can't that, that you can't even do that game here anymore so gone so they have another uh, globe or a uh, planet that they will go to in a way yeah, so that that game's Correct. They'll go someplace else. There's apparently other planets that that will have the karma and the negativity and that and that going on someplace else. Okay. So that'll be done somewhere else. When those that are from the five D, when they're done here, and I see because apparently the five D here will take on a whole different thing. We'll be able to live a longer lifetimes, and we'll be able to do different things so I'm not sure you know we'll be able to determine the lifetime <laughs> so and um, and because it's going to go into light beings and all that thing and then I guess we'll go into other dimensions and, and things there so that I mean we'll keep doing lifetimes it's not the end of lifetimes and, and but it and it may go into other you know maybe the end of earth our earth times I don't know um, but it goes on yeah uh. We'll and, you know, but we've been on other dimensions and other planets before, too, so. Right. Yeah. You know, Earth has just moved into her next uh, incarnation, so. Oh, right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that, you know, this is at uh, secondary, primary school, second grade, and then we're moving on. But the Earth mm -hmm. is actually right. um, mm -hmm. going to the next step. Right, yeah, and, you know, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, so we will, <laughs> it will kind of be very attractive to come to Earth then. Yeah. So yeah, interesting. And and that's and that's really been the um. They said that's. You know, what's been so attractive is everybody wanted to be here when this happened. It was like this was the biggest show, biggest show on earth, you know, front row tickets to be here <laughs> when this was going on. And this huge shift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I'd heard that it's very special in the universe, this shift, mm -hmm. shift that we're going through. <laughs> right. A wonderful show is going on on earth right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yes. Well, this was very interesting. Thank you so much, Julia. What is Thank your you. um, What is your work now these days? Like, are you traveling or what is happening? I am traveling. Um, I'm carrying on mom's work. We're still expanding on the classes. Um, we have the online classes continuing. And then I'm, I'm traveling back tomorrow. I leave for Australia to do a level two class. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so we're doing those and continuing those. And then we're continuing the conferences, and uh, and then I'll be starting some Soul Speak workshops probably online. And um, wow. wonderful. Well, so expanding on my own work and yeah, and just yeah, keep on. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll see you one day in Scandinavia, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be wonderful. Yeah, it will. Okay, well, thank you so much for taking time and uh, good luck with everything you're doing and your wonderful work and I will definitely follow it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you for watching, guys. Much light from Oslo. Bye-bye.